Welcome, going carnivore in Thailand. Well, I'm out here in the pool, already did a little bit of exercise, got a little bit more to do. Wanted to make a quick little video. Yesterday, we went to uh, our local grocers, go wholesale, and we picked up some uh, mid chicken wings. Not the regular wings with the drum leg or little little drum leg on. Not the whole thing, but they call them mid wings. And uh, we picked up a amazing. It's like three dollars a kilo for that, and they're really good when you like put them in the air fryer. Just fry them up. You can make them into a dinner. You can make them into a snack. Last night, I just wasn't in the mood to eat a ribeye. Yesterday, for lunch, I had the half of the ribeye I didn't eat the night before, plus about one quarter of this uh, smoked sausage that Noy bought because she wanted it. And uh, it was delicious. That was why I ate now. I have done a lot more research and I've changed my opinion based on other people's research on, I have been avoiding eating extra fat. In other words, I have been taking these ribeyes and I've been cooking them with the fat, but then I cut the fat off and I put it to the side and I just wasn't eating the fat. In the last three or four days, I've sort of changed my opinion, and now I'm eating fat from the ribeye. But more importantly, I decided to take a page out of uh, some of the doctor's books. And I started when I thought I wanted like a little something in between the meals or after the evening meal and I started actually eating salted butter. And just take it out of the refrigerator in a stick and bite a little bit off and let it melt in your mouth. And I personally love the taste of butter, so that makes it real easy to do. And uh, I'm not gonna go crazy with it, but we bought a supply of butter and uh, some of the research I've done says that if you want to lose even more fat, eat the more fat. In fact, maybe eat the more fat and lighten up on the, on the steak and the protein. A uh, little bit less protein, a little more fat. I'm trying it. I'm not sure. I'm going to... Uh, Take a look at the scale, screw the scale. I've been taking pictures of it every single day and it hasn't went nowhere. Since I lost my initial amount of weight, my scale has went nowhere. But my body has went somewhere. I mean, it is absolutely evident that I am losing fat, which is a, a big plus. So, I mean, it, it's absolutely evident. Everywhere, shape and form, I feel like I'm losing fat. And I'm not, other than exercising in the pool, uh, I'm not doing like weightlifting or any of that stuff. But I will say I've got good energy, and I used to, uh, be honest, I used to go to the grocery store and walk up and down them aisles, and this place is huge, it's like a Costco. Uh, and you know, if you walk back and forth in a Costco long enough, you can put some steps in. But I used to do that, and I'd be wore out, wanna go sit, take a rest, my hip would hurt, my muscles and my butt muscles would hurt. Uh, my glute, glutes or whatever you call them in the rear of your, your butt 
when you walk. Uh, you know, if I did too much walking, that would that would really set me back. Plus, I used to sweat like a pig doing it. Uh, and that's the truth. Not so anymore. I can do a whole shopping step without any pain. It's a real it's a real pleasure. I can only imagine how easily I'll be able to walk when I drop more weight and not just fat, but weight. Because you gotta figure, my muscles have been trained, at least my leg muscles and my back muscles, my stomach muscles have been trained to get out of the chair and walk around and holding that 380 pounds I started at. If I can ever get down to 200 pounds, that extra 180 pounds of weight removed is gonna let me walk. Wow, my muscles are so strong. It'll be great. So that's an update. That's all, folks.